aging does take a toll on the body and it's not just on the joints. It also affects the nerves and the bladder and so many other systems within the body. So here to tell us more is Dr. Alexander Gomelski, who is a urologist here in Shreveport. Thank you so much for joining us today. So I wanted to uh, talk to you a little bit about what happens to the urinary system as people age. Well, thank you uh, for having me. Um, several things happen. Uh, the bladder muscles uh, can get weak, and so the bladder can drop in women. Uh, the bladder can also become overactive, so more sensitive, and uh, uh, people may have to urinate more frequently. Uh, and also, the uh, bladder muscles can uh, not squeeze as well, and so there can be some urinary retention as well, so difficulty urinating. So what are some of the things that people should be on the lookout for that they should maybe flag in order to bring to their doctors? Well, kind of the more uh, severe stuff would be things like blood in the urine uh, or painful urination. But uh, the things that are more kind of bothersome to women and men would be things like urinary leakage or incontinence, uh, having to go to the bathroom all the time, uh, also difficulty urinating, which we'll often see in men as they get older. You mentioned uh, men and women a few times, so are there specific things that are unique to men or unique to women when it comes to the urinary systems? Absolutely. Uh, in men, because they have a prostate, uh, that will often uh, make it more difficult to urinate because the prostate enlarges as they get older. Uh, in women, uh, because their anatomy is a little bit different, we may see urinary leakage more, um, so loss of urine and uh, having to wear protective undergarments or pads and things like that. Absolutely. So what are some things that people can do to kind of strengthen or maintain their urinary function as they get older? Absolutely. Um, you know, I, I tell my patients that sort of good overall health is a good bladder health. Uh, you know, maintaining a, a healthy weight, uh, stopping smoking, uh, taking in plenty of fluids, uh, exercising is good, getting plenty of sleep. Uh, and then there are things uh, such as uh, uh, some behavioral changes that they can make, going to the bathroom more frequently, uh, and maybe some pelvic exercises that can also help them uh, in the long run. And you can start that whenever. Absolutely. Okay, Absolutely. well, perfect. Well, thank you so much, Dr. Kamelski, for joining us today. We really appreciate it, and uh, we will try to take those tips forward with our viewers.